In this tutorial, you are going to learn the difference between relative and absolute paths, which is important to know if you are creating a website. To demonstrate the difference, here we are going to be using the WordPress platform. Let's start with a relative path. This is a link in a website that directs to different places depending on where it is used. This means that the same link on two sites will direct to different pages. An example of a relative link would be one that links to the homepage. It will always link to the homepage of the main site, not the homepage of someone else's site. Let's create a relative link here. We will begin by typing our standard HTML, lesser than symbol a space href equals speech marks. Then we will not add a specific website, but just enter a page from our site. Here we are entering forward slash question mark page underscore ID equals two. Complete the rest of the link as you normally would by entering speech marks greater than symbol, the text for the link, then the lesser than symbol forward slash a and then a greater than symbol. An absolute path is an HTML link that will always direct the user to the same destination no matter what site the code is used on. This is done by giving the link more specific instructions. Enter your standard start of lesser than symbol a space href equals speech marks, then type the address you want to link to, including the main website and HTTP part. Here we are entering http colon double forward slash www.google.co.uk. Enter the rest of the code, speech marks, greater than symbol, link text, lesser than symbol, forward slash a, greater than symbol. Now we just need to test these links. Let's save the blog page and have a look at the links we just created. As you can see, when we click the relative link, it takes us to a page in our own site. When we click the absolute link, it takes us to the external site. That was just a quick demonstration of the difference between relative and absolute paths.